In this uh, second video for Chapter 6, we're going to uh, learn a method for finding volumes obtained by rotating graphs about either the x or the y axis. So we're going to start with example 1 on page 116. So we're going to revolve about the x axis the region between y equals x squared and the x axis. Uh, that is between uh, 0 and 1. So let's take a look at a couple of pictures to see what uh, we're evolving, what the curve looks like that we're evolving, and what we get when we do that. So here is the curve y equals x squared on the interval uh, 0, 1. And we are uh, revolving it about the x-axis. When we do that, the method that we're going to use is to, uh, it's going to look similar to the upper uh, rectangle method. So let's look at these five rectangles that we have uh, here, and we're going to revolve those five about the x-axis. When we revolve them about the x-axis, we get this dark blue shaded region here and the uh, uh, when we revolve those rectangles about we get what we call these disks here so let's notice that these disks uh, overshoot the volume that we're trying to get by this amount shaded in yellow. So you can see that there's quite a bit of excess volume and that same uh, excess volume or that excess volume can be traced to this excess area that we have but because the rectangles uh, are overshooting the curve. Um, so this is similar to uh, the upper lower sum method in its inaccuracy, but if we take uh, more and more rectangles with uh, thinner and thinner width, uh, we'll see in some pictures on the next blackboard that that error gets less and less and less. Before we do that, let's note though that for each one of these disks, the radius of the disk is the height of the function, which is f of x and the width of the disks is delta x <coughs> and so the volume that we're getting is going to be the area times the width and the area is pi times the radius squared and the width or the thickness is delta x. <coughs> so on the next blackboard let's expand on this so we saw that uh, when we had uh, five disks, we had a large amount of overshoot in uh, calculating the volume. But when we uh, uh, increase the uh, number of uh, disks to just 10, you can see from this picture here that the excess uh, volume that we get is already considerably less than it was when uh, with 10, uh, 10 disks, then we'll have 5 disks. And so uh, the method is to uh, do that. So we're going to let those widths get smaller and smaller and smaller till they go to dx, and our uh, summation sign is going to turn into an integral sign, and we get this uh, pretty simple formula for finding volumes of rotation by the disk method, at least when we're revolving about the uh, axis, or the uh, x-axis in this case. X-axis. So let's put this to use by doing, or finishing this example. Um, and so we're finding uh, the volume obtained by revolving about the interval 0, 1, the function x squared, which is acting like our radius, we're squaring that. So that gives us pi times x to the fourth integrated 0 to 1, which is pi.
pi times x to the fifth over 5, 0 to 1, which is pi over 5, or about 0.6. And if we look back at our uh, figure here, um, just to get a rough idea of the accuracy of it, we've got this uh, box in which our cone-shaped object uh, fits. It is one unit wide, and um, it's one by two by two, so it's four square units, but we are not considering any of this portion here, this large portion here, and of course this uh, symmetric portion on the bottom. So you can see that we're only using maybe uh, maybe a, a third or so of the region. Actually uh, less than that, uh, the, act the answer that we get is about 0 0.6, which represents about, what, 15% uh, of the region. So that makes pretty good sense that that's the answer that we get. So we want to uh, expand or uh, continue uh, with this method by working example 2 on page 117 where we're revolving the region between two curves about the x-axis. So we're revolving on the interval 1, 2, the region between the two curves y equals x cubed and x squared about the x-axis. So let's look at some pictures to show what uh, the region we're uh, obtaining looks like and what the method looks like. So here is uh, the curve y equals x squared and here is the curve y equals x cubed and so here is the region we're revolving about the x-axis. The method is going to be uh, requiring us to uh, uh, do rectangular disks about uh, both of those curves. So here's the rectangular uh, region we're revolving about um, the x-axis and so we get this overshoot from the uh, inner region and then here are the um, uh, the disks or the rectangular areas that we're revolving about the upper curve and so we uh, get this overshoot over here on uh, this figure. Right, these overshoot areas here and here. Um, and so when we uh, do this uh, revolution of this region between this region right uh, here, uh, here's what the figure looks like. So uh, the uh, region whose uh, volume we're trying to find is this uh, lime green shaded region. Uh, it uh, is enclosed in this uh, dark green skin and it's not the whole cone shaped region because what we're removing is the volume of this interior blue region. So we're subtracting that off. And so what's the setup for that look like? It looks like this. So for the outer region, it is pi times the outer curve, which is x cubed squared dx between 1 and 2. And we are subtracting from that uh, the inner region's volume, which is pi between 1 and 2, x squared squared, its radius squared dx. We can combine that into one integral since the limits of integration for both are the same uh, from 1 to 2 and so that is uh, x cubed squared minus x squared squared dx x cubed squared is of course x to the 6 x squared squared is x to the 4th so when we integrate we get um, let's put the pi here we get uh, pi times x to the 6th integral is x to the 7th over 7. x to the 4th integral is x to the 5th over 5. And we're evaluating that between 1 and 2. So let's pick that up here on the next blackboard. 
So we get pi times um, 128 over 7, because 128 is 2 to the 7th, um, uh, minus, so pi 2 to the 7th is 128 over 7 minus uh, 2 to the 5th over 5, which is 32 over 5. And, uh, and then we're subtracting from that uh, 1 to the 7th over 7 minus 1 to the 5th over 5. That gives us uh, approximately 37.52. For this one, it's uh, relatively easy to see that this number makes sense. So let's go back uh, to this region here. Actually, let's put a new one up. So this region is, what, uh, one unit this way. And uh, since the radius is one, it's two units this way and uh, two units uh, this way. So it's one by two. Uh, by 2, so that's incorrect, it's uh, 1 unit y, but uh, at 2, y equals x cubed is 8, so uh, the radius is 8, and so the, uh, this way is 16, and also this way is 16. So it is 1 by 16 by 16, or 256 cubic units. But uh, you can see that the figure, the entire figure, is roughly one-third of that. So one-third of 256 is approximately 80. And then we are taking out this... Uh, or this uh, blue, dark blue shaded region, which is about half of the volume is being removed. So about 80 divided by 2, so we should get some number around 40, and that uh, justifies the 37.52 as a good eyeball number. So let's uh, summarize our two uh, our formulas, or two formulas actually. Uh, if we're just revolving a uh, curve about the x-axis, the formula is pi f of x uh, radius, which is represented the radius squared dx. Note that if we revolved about the uh, uh, y-axis, it would be a to b uh, f of y squared dy. So we have to find the function of y. <clears throat> and if we want the region, so this is when we have a, uh, a solid region. And when we have uh, a region, like an outer region, as in uh, this example 2 that we just completed, it would be f of x squared uh, minus g of x squared dx, or f of y, g of y, if we're revolving about the other axis. And these f of x and g of x represent, uh, respectively, the outer radius squared minus the uh, inner radius squared. So let's uh, box those two formulas and that will uh, uh, complete this video on the disk method for finding volumes of rotation. So there we have the two formulas that we uh, applied in uh, this section. The top one when we have a solid region which is what we had uh, way back in our uh, first example here um, and right where we're finding the volume of this uh, dark blue shaded region. And the second formula is when we have uh, an uh, exterior shell. So we were just finding the volume of this uh, region uh, here that was uh, shaded in lime green, the lime green color.
So this concludes uh, this video on section 6.2, the uh, disk method for finding uh, solids obtained by revolution or by revolving curves about the axes.